Aaron, you guys managed two runs early, but really weren't able to get anything going thereafter. Why do you think they, they struggled to get going offensively tonight? Well, I mean, we're, Gosman's one of the best in the league, you know, so good job of scratching a couple against them. We had a couple chances there uh, in a couple innings after that. I thought we, I thought we, you know, put some good at bats on them. Um, just weren't able to kind of break through and make it a great night against him. But, you know, that's, you know, that guy's been one of the best in the American League and just couldn't quite finish off a really good offensive night against him. What makes him so good, so tough? Well, I mean, command. Uh, you know, he's what, probably 200 strikeouts now and 30 walks, so it's, it's you know, it's really good command. It's, you know, good fastball, really good split finger, good slider. Um, you know, he puts the ball where he wants to. He's become a really good pitcher in this league for the last few years. Overall, what did you think of Severino tonight? I thought Sevy threw the ball well again. Uh, had a couple of long at bats. I thought Bichette put a great at bat against him there. That long at bat where he's able to work the single. Um, you know, we didn't turn a double play on a ball hit hard against him. And then, uh, you know, walks Kirk and Teoscar, uh, you know, hit one well, obviously, to center. But so, you know, he's kind of a victim of, of the pitch count there. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, it ends up throwing 30, 30 plus 35 pitches there in that fourth inning but I thought overall stuff wise I thought he threw the ball really well I thought I thought for the mo he, he had a few walks in there but I thought he was getting it where he wanted to for the most part um, you know they just kind of outlasted him with some tough at bats it looked like it was shaping up where it could have been a big moment for Aaron Judge there in that 10th inning did you anticipate that he was going to walk him yeah once we saw Mesa up you know we figured he, or he was getting ready for for Rizzo there and then um, you know then the next one is is it going to be a first and second situation then as soon as they went to the mound you know you know we knew they were going to get Mays at a walk them and um so yeah we figured that that ground ball short you mentioned it was hard <coughs> let it do a couple runs it was rolled to hit the you think that was a hit or is that Paul being the people yeah i mean it's <clears throat> obviously hit really hard i i haven't seen a replay on it yet like you know our ipads have that high home so it's hard for me to judge like what the hop did and things like that on the Hernandez double. Yeah. Was it right to go to home, or could, you could have gotten him maybe at second? Yeah, I think I think you know when you hit, you know, as a middle infielder there, and obviously it's very loud. When that ball's hit, you don't even think there's a play at second. That's just a double all the way. So you're kind of getting yourself in position to throw home. Um, the runners got held up a little bit, and it ended up going home. So, uh, you know, I think if we were at second. Because Teoscar wasn't really running, we might have had a play there. Um, turned out to be a little inconsequential because that's all they scored anyway. But um, that's one of those where you try and play as well as you can with your eyes in a loud scenario where you know it gets a little different than what the play kind of shows. Aaron, what went into the decision to pitch to Guerrero with first base open there at the end? Uh, out Kirk on deck. <laughs> That was just the matchup you wanted. Uh, I mean, you don't really like either of those matchups. Um, so it's, you know, pick your poison, you know. And and with uh, I'll add Bichette to that mix, you know, we, we talked a little bit about there. If once we got Springer, do we put him on to try and set up some kind of ground ball? Um, uh, once we got that, you know, with two outs there, you know, you, obviously you're going to pitch careful. But with Kirk behind him, it's it's pick your poison. When it was late in the game and. It's tied, and you know that there's champagne ready to go. Does that go through your head at all that we get a run that we're going to celebrate, or, or you're too caught up? Not in the really. Game? You're too caught up in the game, honestly. Um, uh, yeah, you're, you're caught up in the game and, and trying to trying to get through there in a tight game and trying to break through. So, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can do it tomorrow. Are you encouraged by what you saw from Holmes? I, I, I thought I thought it was a really good baseball game. I mean, really. Um, Clay was once again really good. I thought he was excellent in his last outing where he gave us two innings. Um, you know, Lowe was terrific. Lowe threw the ball well. F. Ross and Trivi both did their job. So, um, you know, good good job overall getting it to, you know, getting it to the extra innings there, holding holding a really good offense down. Would you anticipate a, a DH day for Aaron either tomorrow or the next day? No, not necessarily. We'll see. What do you think of this is bad?
stats tonight? <coughs> I thought once again good. You know, gets off to a good start with the base hit the other way to come around and score. You know, work some walks. I thought Garcia did a really good job against him. You know, he he got into a good count three one there, and he really executed some pitches. Um, I thought there were a couple pitches down and out of the zone called against him tonight, but. Um, I thought Garcia did a good job and probably got him to expand there a little bit with th on the 3-2 count, um, but, but more good at bats.